To more local news now, an experimental fish fence, just like the one you're seeing here, is now being used in some parts of the state as a way to keep a nuisance fish species away. Asian carp continue to sneak into our waters, robbing native fish of their food sources. And yes, this type of jumping can be a huge danger for boaters. News 2's Davis Nolan shows us what's being done to stop the Asian carp invasion. Besides the jumping silver carp, there's also the giant big head carp. Check out this 176 pound big head that bow fisherman Dalton driver Brad Browning and their friends shot earlier this month. And there was this big fish up on top of the water, just kind of swimming in a circle. We're like, I bet that's our paddlefish. Well, we get up to it and we stick it. We have to shoot it three times, it's so big. It's a big head. I was like, this is not good because that is an invasive species. I like, we need to kill him and get him out of here now. So the big head and silver carp are the two species that were the most worried about of the four Asian carp species. There's also uh, grass carp and black carp. Uh, but the big head and silver carp are the ones that are the filter feeders. They feed low on the food chain and, and use resources that our native fish rely on. And the danger of boaters being hit by the jumping silver carp, it's real. We see them almost every weekend. They've jumped up, knocked people over before, jump off the side of the boat. I mean, just, it's getting, it's dangerous for sure. So how did these invasive fish get into Tennessee's lakes and rivers? The Asian carp typically move through our locks and dams. Um, you know, they, they move up to a dam where they're typically stopped, but with our lock systems that allow for barge traffic and navigation, uh, they get to, they can move through those locks when the barges move through. So what are they doing to prevent them from coming through? Well, at Barkley Dam, they've installed an experimental bioacoustic fish fence that produces bubbles through which lights are flashed and sounds known to be audible to Asian carp are emitted. The hope, of course, is that this will deter the Asian carp from coming through the locks and heading farther upstream in the Cumberland River. The TWRA will be studying the effectiveness of the system and hope to have the final results in 2023. I'm Davis Nolan, News 2. The TWRA implemented an Asian carp harvest incentive program in September of 2018, and since its launch, close to 7 million pounds of Asian carp have been removed from the Tennessee and Cumberland Rivers.